So here we're going to talk about how to set up a really simple ARM IK. Uh, there's a few things that you kind of have to keep in mind when you're doing it. Uh, so we're going to go over and make sure that we are aware of those few things. Um, all right, so just as before, I'm just going to, oh, I'm in modify. So I want to go to create mode, drop these down. So as before, I'm not going to change the name of the skeletons here or of the joints. I'm just going to leave them the same. So let's pack this. And we're going to go base, scale. Okay, so now we're ready to go. So let's throw down an auto rig component. And let's call this IK. We'll select smooth IK from the component list. So now if we go into the driven, what we have to put into here are the actual names of the joints that need to be driven. So if we look here, we have point 0.0, point 0.1, and point 0.2. One useful way to see what the names of the joints are at all times is to uh, right click on this little arrow down here, hit plus and put down a marker and within here, we want to have our text, right? So marker, text, and the attribute we want is the name attribute. And we'll just set that to point. So if I select this and hit W, we can see the names of our points at all times, which is really, really handy, super useful. We can say point 0.1 or zero point zero point one. Point two. Okay, so let's hit enter. And we still don't have uh, our IK is not working. Matter of fact, it's looking kind of strange. So in order to get IK to work, you have to initialize the FK transforms first. So before the IK, we're going to throw down another auto rig component. We'll call this FK, select FK. And as we did before, and in this case, we'll just hit star. So now all of our transform and rotation and scale channels are promoted. So we have access to these now, we can go in and animate them. And if we go into IK, the IK now functions as it should. So one interesting thing about the IK component is that within this control section here, these two strings, the arm pull L and the arm IK handle are the output controls. So these are the names of the actual controls that are being created. So this right here, I'm controlling the arm pull L and then the arm IK handle L. So I'm going to get rid of the L because we're not using left or right. We're using center. So when I go into my configure controls and create two configurations, I now have those controls selectable. And so for instance, if I went in and changed this to arm or something like PV CTRL, it updates down here. And I have PV CTRL. So we can do a couple of things. We can blow that up. Make it blue, arm IK. Shape override, let's use the blob. I like the blob. Rotate it, color, we use red for IK. Okay. So scene, we'll throw down a scene add character and then we'll do an animate. Let's see, animate, let's try that one more time. 
there we go. Now we have our little IK rig. So this is pretty nice. Issue is our pull vector control, its initial point is right on the elbow. And what's happening is in our IK component, it's basically selecting that middle point, point one, and it's saying, okay, you're gonna be our pull vector control. But we don't want that. We want our we want to start off our animated scene with the pull vector control out like that. Right? Because if we don't, we grab our IK handle, we move it back, and it flips because the elbow wants to point towards that pull vector. So it's kind of a bummer that we have to do that and then pull that out. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how to use guides so that you can create initial rest positions for your control objects.